yourself on your tweets related to Alex and his concussion-like symptoms, et cetera. Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, ultimately, uh, yeah, I think for me, it's all, all about togetherness as far as, you know, I'm in the sport uh, with NASCAR, with Goodyear, with uh, the race teams, and you know, I, I'm part of the race teams, right? So uh, ultimately, it's my job to try to make sure that uh, my driver and Alex is, is put in the safest situation possible. And, um, you know, so for, for me, decisions I made probably throughout uh, Texas race ultimately cost us a crash probably. And, uh, you know, th thinking that uh, I could have done some something different, uh, that's that's how I look at things. I don't look to, uh, look. I look in the mirror before I uh, look out into the, into the crowd. So um, ultimately that's where, um, you know, being through this before, um, you know, with it, with Dale, you know, uh, you know, we talked. I talked to him about it a little bit on the his uh, download show and how you know I felt like I, I a lot of that uh, his accident or concussion was uh, put on me. So uh, that's just that's that's my nature. That's who I am. And it, no, no matter what uh, anybody else says, that's that's ultimately what I'm going to think and I'm going to hope to uh, help improve it. Did Great. you see this coming? Did you see this coming? No, uh, I mean, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, everybody can hear or talk about the the rear impact being a little bit, um, you know, greater and, and, you know, you can't foresee the future, but uh, ultimately for us, you know, just trying to uh, put the best uh, race car around him and, and, and safety equipment and, um, you know, we saw what happened with Kurt, and, um, you know, just trying to trying to go from there. You were talking with Scott Miller and Tom Probst in the garage yesterday. It looked like you were showing them some of the yeah. interior stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, ultimately, you know, I, I said I was going to help improve it, and you got to act on those words. And so, you know, I, I reached out to uh, Scott Miller, and not only through the process of, um, you know, the driver change, but you know, I I wanted to, you know, just kind of go over a few things that potentially, you know, maybe could help or, or what I saw or experienced with the car or um, those type of things and just just uh, ha have that dialogue open. Um, and ultimately that's the number one thing is when when you're uh, you're trying to attack a problem, you want you want allies to uh, uh, to help you with it and I want to be one of those guys. When did, how did, like Alex wasn't required to go to the Infield Care Center at Texas because he finished a race. Yeah. So what, what was the process of, of realizing that he was in trouble and wasn't going to be able to race? Yeah, I mean, ultimately when these race car drivers, they go through a lot, especially at Texas with, uh, you know, the, the pace and without the fall off, you got the 100 degree heat, the interior temperatures were, were 20, 125 to 130. So uh, for him, you know, being in a crash, you, you are a little bit more heightened uh, of, of what the next day brings, but uh, you still have the regular fatigue and, and all that stuff on you. So uh, for him, it was just, you know, be methodical about it. Don't, don't, uh, uh, put yourself in a you know uh, a state of of alarm and, and emergency, but also you know make sure you're being self conscious and uh, making the right decision, uh, especially when you're coming to a place like Talladega. Did he go to the doctors on his own, or was he or was he asked to go to the doctor? He, he you know Alex is uh, very responsible, especially uh, with Dale as kind of a mentor around him and. Um, so I, I feel like um, ultimately it, it was his decision to uh, get the treatment or get get uh, evaluated to to do those go those steps just to make sure um, everything uh, checked out and uh, ultimately you know it's it, it's a tough situation because you, you want to say well did he get called off did he did he do it himself I, I think in the end uh, the right decision was made no matter how it was made um, and. You know, like I said, the race car drivers have, um, you know, Monday mornings evaluate, <laughs> evaluation of themselves and how the race goes. And, and, and when you include crash into that, there's always question marks. Greg, where, where does the industry collectively come from here? Uh, I think, uh, one, we got to come together. Uh, we, you know, we can't continue to think it's uh, one indi individual's fault or, or one one sanctioning body's fault or one race team's fault. Uh, I think we got to, you know, come together as, as a group of, of drivers uh, as as executives as team owners as you know crew chiefs and say hey what what can we do to help make this better and uh understanding the the, the problem i think is clear um you know solving the problem is where it starts to get a little cloudy and and and, and ex you know the 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 common ex expense of it to uh the, you know what the right move is and 
Uh, so that that's where I like to see it continue to go. And um, you know, when you when you when you have a car of of this nature, development is very it, it slows down quickly comparatively to when a race team had it. Um, you know, you we used to cut frame rails out and cut, cut clips off in a matter of a, a day and and put it back together and. and uh, so that that's that's the cumbersome part of what we're facing right now, uh, but there there's I think there's ways for us to uh, you know get get better um, without a lot of expense and the, the time frame has to be, has to be shorter on these type of develop, is, developments. Is there enough time to do it in 2022, or is it going to have to wait till 2023? Yeah, I, I mean, I I think the time is running out, um, but I mean. Uh, if, if it's even if it's for one race, it's it's uh, it's better than uh, not and, and waiting. So um, you know, we, you know, going to after Talladega, you know, you got Vegas. You you know that, that is, a, is a big place you can hit, and um, you know there's there's a lot of there's a lot of like I said, if we get you know one race of, of development in, then that's a win for for everybody. Have you found one specific thing or a couple specific things that you could say, let's do this now, that would make yeah, a difference? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have, you know, the rear bumper uh, structures that it's, it's a bolt-on piece, you know, it's, it's something that uh, is, is can be fabricated, um, you know, or modified to, 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 to produce more of a, uh, a crush zone, but you know, ultimately, you don't want to get to the point where you take away some of the uh, energy absorption, and now you're hitting front and rear clips. You know, because there, there, there's a there's a stiffness factor of, you know, you have, have to have a crumple zone, um, and then what do you hit next? So, um, that's that's the type of area you know we probably could go and 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 make some adjustments to rather quickly um but you don't you don't want to miscalculate there so you know you can't knee jerk react especially in these type of situations uh i feel like you know i think nascar has done a great job of trying to uh, uh put regulations around the 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 driver um uh seat headrest uh headrest foam those type of things leg boards all that stuff to try to uh, provide extra uh, security and safety for them I, I think that's another area that we can look to potentially improve um, you know especially for rear uh, impacts and and how, how the footprint of the headrest or um, you know where is it you know touching the helmet also you know I can look at some education on you know how to crash you know that's very silly to say but uh, if you look at the video you know Alex way he drives his heads off the headrest his heads forward um it created you know uh, that much little bit of a gap that the acceleration to the headrest was was quick and that most likely could have caused the 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 you know concussion like symptoms so just you know your natural reaction is to brace and you know i don't know how you can educate or teach that but uh, are you hopeful Alec will return this year? Oh yeah, he'll he'll be back. Uh, I I feel like um, you know he's he's determined to be back. He wants to come and finish the season off strong. We had a good good momentum going for um, you know in the first round and um, you know have a little, a little step back here. But I feel like uh, he's going to do everything he can to make sure he's back. And and uh, right now that's 100 percent my goal for him is uh, to be a, be at the Robo. When, when, when you said Greg earlier about your decisions, decisions that you made, can you just elaborate on what? Yeah, I mean, is? like just just um, you know, you know, you can go back to a pit call. You can go back to you know, you know what air pressure you're running. Uh, you can go back to um, you know maybe maybe not. Um, it's 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 so everything is is not is all related to you know one decision you know um it's not just it's not just air pressure it's not just camber it's not just the decision to uh you know maybe stay out and and try to get stage points when we just had a caution you know uh you know we had three three cautions on that or two cautions and three restarts on that that set of tires so maybe if I would have pitted and put four tires on and not worried about the points but those those are the things that go through my head of how I could change or understand we knew that around 35 to 40 laps these the tires were 
you know, having some issues and we we're getting into the 30s on our tire and maybe I needed to get a fresh set on. So but that's what I'm thinking about. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I can even go back to, you know, when Dale had his issue, I took two tires at Michigan and we got kind of in, in, in a, a bad situation in traffic on a restart. And, um, you know, he, that caused him to get in an accident with somebody. And, you know, that's, that's me. That's what I think about. And, and how, how could I, what could I do to, I, I'm never going to control the future, but how can I, how could I have changed it? But that's the way I, what, what does Sunday look like? Asked, is there, there's a lot to talk about what the NASCAR carries all season, right? But is there anything in the short term, whether it's the next couple of weeks, you can put a bandaid on this problem where it's not it's, 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 it's as big of an issue? Yeah, I mean, um, th there, are, there's always something. Uh, and it, it, the question was asked, and, you know, the one area I looked at was the, you know, the areas of the, the bolt-on bumpers, the aluminum uh, bolt-on bumpers that maybe we can create a little bit more, um, you know, uh, crush area with those. But ultimately, you can't just swing and miss with that either because ultimately now you're coming to stiffer front clips, front and rear clips that, that potentially could do even, uh, you know, if it blows through that, that bolt-on piece uh, quicker and now you're connecting into something else. So we can't just knee jerk react at it, but we have to react um, and, and try to implement something uh, uh, of, of calculated <laughs> um, as, as much as you can. So um, yeah, there's, there's small things we can do, but ultimately, um, you know, I, I think you just gotta put your, put a focus and emphasis on one thing and, and try to get that right. You what is Sunday the drivers keeping their head off the headrest? How hard would it be to retrain drivers to keep that back in that moment? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I've raced, I've crashed, I've, you know, done probably wrong things too. Um, you know, it, I guess, I guess in the end, I just, it's more about just awareness, education of it all. Um, you're never going to change how a driver nat naturally drives. Even if you have SMT, you're not going to change the way a driver naturally, you know, does things. No matter how much you educate them, um, so it's no different than my kids or myself. So, um, you know, it's just one of those things where, hey, this is something if you're going to experience a backwards crash, like it might cross your mind and you might, you know, put yourself in that situation. Just, just that awareness and understanding uh, might help, um, but ultimately. You're, you're not you're not going to think oh yeah i'm going to i'm spinning i'm going backwards i'm going to do this right so um but yeah just just like i said just some awareness about it i what saw noah in the garage yesterday and he seemed very calm he seemed very i mean he's got like going on this weekend but he didn't seem like it phased him much and i i wonder at kind of how you think he's prepped for this and how you kind of orient him into the car yeah i mean uh he was quickly to the shop and we were able to go through our driver debrief and everything with him and, and try to understand uh what he needed inside the race car but uh, i don't care if you're a five-year-old go-kart racer or you know a 50-year-old race car driver or a veteran uh you're ready for these moments whenever they arise and um and and ultimately that's what a true competitor is uh he's they're ready for the moment and uh um you know, they, it, they may have the nerves, but they're not going to show it. Mm -hmm. What do you want the what, game plan to be for, for Noah in the race? Um, you know, ultimately, you know, our, our goal is to continue uh, on an owner's points uh, uh, championship and, and, you know, put ourselves in the best position uh, at the end, end of the year uh, from that standpoint. And so it's to go out there and, you know, get the pole here in, a, in about an hour, hour and a half and uh, try to try to lead and, and win both stages and the race. So. Um, I think that has to be our mindset. Anything less than that is not, uh, not, um, uh, not, you know, thinking about the race team, not thinking about him and, 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 you know, what Alex would want. So, um, I think if we just sit and ride around all day, that's, nobody's getting better. We might as well just stay at home. So. Isn't it uncanny that Greg Ives, don't you think it's uncanny that your driver Alex Bowman got his shot like seven years ago because he was filling in for Dale Earnhardt Jr. who on Thursday of that week had concussion-like symptoms and I replayed the tape yesterday of your driver 
uh, Alex Bowman talking about filling in for Dale Jr. And it's so uncanny that seven years later, it's almost like history repeating itself. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking that trend. So, um, you know, that, and that's why I want to be a, a big part of trying to trying to help and, and not have to, you know, find backup drivers on, on Thursday. So um, all in all, yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, you know, uh, a bad situation to, to be in and, and to experience and, and to see your friends go through that. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, everybody, you know, yes, this is a potential opportunity for, for Noah to, you know, uh, he, he's been in the Gen 7 car, you know, several times this year. And, and ultimately, you know, that was, was a good reason for him to, to fill in for Alex. And uh, he has great things going for him next year and uh, a bright future. And uh, he also has the Xfinity Championship to go and try to win. So, um, you know, all in all, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm in this situation and, and I'm, I'm not liking it uh, very much, but uh, I think everybody knows that, um, you know, Noah, Noah's on a, a good path and, and, you know, Alex got his shot and he proved his proved his ability and his talent and uh, that's why he's he's still in the race car. What, what does your, Sunday uh, look like for Alex Bowman? Uh, he, he, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I hope he's just uh, hanging out and, and, and trying to uh, continue to, <laughs> To make himself better, and you know he's he's been on a uh, you know he he's been do, doing a really good job over the last few years of, of working with Josh and Josh um, helping him uh, you know get to the, the peak fitness that he needs to be. So I, I imagine that's what he's probably out out for a run or or you know doing some type of training to to make sure he's as prepared as possible as he can for the role. We've seen in Kurt's absence that he's been working with the team at his shop on race day. Nothing like that at Hendrick for Alex. No, I, I think I think for him uh, just uh, having time probably away from racing right now is is, is probably best for the Sunday. And uh, you never want to watch your your race car going around with your name on it and uh, somebody else driving it. So. Um, but so.